Hi friends! In this video, we'll be covering the details for the Good Molecules Black Friday Festival event for 2021. We'll cover the different discounts and bundle deals, as well as the exclusive drop that only happens during this sales event, and go over my top five favorite products from Good Molecules. And with that said, this video is sponsored by Good Molecules. A huge thank you to them for this opportunity and to you friends, because without your support, these opportunities would not be possible. When Good Molecules first dropped on the market, I was intrigued by their inexpensive prices but will look to be very effective skincare and to not only have used them for as long as I have but now to be sponsored by them again very grateful for this opportunity. Good Molecules rarely does sales as they already start at an inexpensive price point but this is the one time a year that they go ham with the sales. The Black Friday Festival is a multi-day online event that lasts for five days starting on Thanksgiving Day the 25th 12 p.m. PT or 3 p.m. Eastern, and it ends on Monday, November 29th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific or 2.59 a.m. Eastern. The Black Friday Festival also highlights one of the many markets that they had expanded to over the years, and the inspiration for this year's Black Friday Festival event comes from Mexico, and during the five days, you'll be exposed to the different artwork from Mexico, so really excited to see that as well. What are the other discounts? Well, site-wide, you'll be able to get 25% off as well as 30% off bundles. So if this is your first time being introduced to Good Molecules, and even with my recommendations, you're still quite not sure, Good Molecules will have has special curated bundle deals that will have that discount featuring their best-selling products so they'll do the thinking for you. Again, the Black Friday Festival event only happens once a year and it's over the course of five days. So you have the opportunity to shop at your leisure to take your time, but there are some important drops that are happening on specific days. For instance, the skincare fridge. I know skincare fridges can be an indulgent part of one's routine. Why would you have a skincare fridge? Well, there are different products out there that feel good when they're cold, like the caffeine energizing hydrating gel patches when you place them under your eyes to depuff. Those are great right out of the fridge, as well as different serums and oils that not only will have that nice cooling effect when applied on the skin, but will also extend the shelf life if those items typically are stored in a warmer temperature, which is not ideal. When you open it up, you have your two shelves here. The height, again, ideal for serums and oils. You have a slot here inside the door. It shuts tight and you have a handle because not only can you use this for your skincare, but you know, you could put other stuff in here too. It's like a fridge suitcase. The full retail value for the fridge is $60, but during the Black Friday Festival event, you can get it for 15. That's not too bad, fam. This is limited in stock and again, exclusive to this sales event. And the days you can grab this for $15 is when the sale begins on Thursday the 25th, as well as Friday and Monday, Monday being the last day of the festival event. They also have a product releasing during the festival, the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. This will be Good Molecules' first essence. Hopefully not their last, so we'll keep an eye out for that. And you'll have an opportunity to grab free gifts over the weekend. With purchase totals over $50, on Saturday, you'll be able to grab the facial massaging roller, or on Sunday, one of my picks, the Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. You will find all these details down in the description box, as well as my affiliate links with, in addition to this video being sponsored, those links, if you choose to use them, will earn me a commission, and I thank you in advance if you choose to do so. Now let's get to my fun five picks from Good Molecules. We'll start off with the cleansing step, and I am so thrilled that they reformulated their instant cleansing balm. I first purchased this years ago when they first dropped on the market, and I love the texture, but the fragrance was quite strong. I'm not sure if they made adjustments on the texture, but they definitely reformulated it so that it does not contain that fragrance, and it doesn't smell like anything. So that is something I prefer as someone who is very sensitive to heavy fragrances. I can now I'll use this twice a day without it feeling overwhelming to my senses and I do feel the texture is smoother and silkier than when I had first used it years ago. The instant cleansing balm is formulated with sea buckthorn oil, camellia oil, and shea butter. Melts on contact with the skin to dissolve makeup, dirt, environmental pollutants, and other impurities. It rinses away with just water, leaving skin comfortably clean, not tight, dry, or stripped. This is a pleasure to use and I use is in the morning actually because I find even though I was sleeping and not rubbing my face in dirt, the excess sebum that could develop
develop overnight i think is best cleansed with an oil and the fact that this is gentle on the skin and rinses clean also it doesn't leave behind a greasy residue my skin is less silky soft when i rinse this and i follow with my second pick the rose water daily cleansing gel i went through well with the help of bay of course two bottles of this cleanser and it's one of the water-based cleansers that i tend to return to because even though it suds up it's very lightweight on the skin it doesn't strip the skin when i rinse it and i just adore the fact again doesn't have any fragrance. The rose water daily cleansing gel is infused with antioxidant rich rose water, a pH balanced gel face wash that soothes and balances all skin types. The cleansing gel gently purifies skin of dirt, oil, and makeup without disrupting its natural moisture balance. In the evening, following the instant cleansing balm, I go in with the rose water cleansing gel. Magnificent texture on the skin. It's so silky, even though it suds up. The sud is very soft, it's not aggressive, and when I rinse the gel off my skin i feel my skin is left nourished but cleansed in an ideal state for the next step whether you want to go in with your favorite toner or with your favorite serum and if this is evening my third pick is the glycolic exfoliating toner now depending on your skin condition will determine if you choose to go in with an exfoliating toner maybe you'll choose to go in with good molecules several serums one of their maybe their hyaluronic acid serum or their super peptide serum as one who suffers from pih post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation i like to use an exfoliating product in my skincare routine what ahas do specifically in this case glycolic acid is sloughs off dead skin to reveal a more even skin tone and in this case with pih age it will slow off the dead skin that contributes to the dark marks on your face and over time over the course of a few months it will begin to even out the skin tone so the newer skin cells will then contribute to a more even tone and brighter complexion the texture is a typical toner is liquidy in feel and as it dries down it goes through a slightly sticky stage but once it dries down completely it fuses into your skin and of course you can then follow with another serum or your moisturizer good molecules also has retinol and salicylic acid a bha so they have different options when it comes to exfoliation and cellular turnover i use this at most three times a week again just to dissolve the dead skin cells so my skin tone could look even if you are a makeup wearer it could be beneficial for you to slow off dead skin just so that you can have a smoother texture worn under your favorite foundation up next which is definitely one of my OG moisturizers, the silicone free priming moisturizer. Compared to last year's packaging, they updated it. So, this is last year's Sia. I finished it. It's a frosted plastic design, but here it is all opaque in addition to the pump being all opaque with its cap. I do believe, just looking at the size of the bottle, that it has the same vacuum push mechanism to ensure that you use up all the product this is one of my most favorite moisturizers as it relies on shea butter for its occlusive of choice and also something noteworthy about good molecules with all the products that i have mentioned thus far is that on the box you can see all the ingredients lined out in terms of the percentage so there is no ambiguity as to what this includes if you are an ingredient nerd you can research all the ingredients listed here this moisturizer does not contain any fragrance it's creamy without feeling heavy on the skin silky smooth to the touch and ideal under makeup i use this also during the summertime because even though it's creamy in texture it does not feel heavy on the skin and as we're entering the winter season you could go in with an oil after this moisturizer or you could go in with a serum before your moisturizer to boost the hydration i think this might be my third or fourth bottle of this moisturizer. It's just an ideal formula for me. It does the job without the bells and whistles. It doesn't break the wallet. I just need my moisturizer to ensure my barrier stays protected, especially now against the colder weather. That's why I rely on the more active ingredients like the glycolic acid in the toner, or if I choose to use their BHA cream that they have available. So moisturizers, I don't need them to do the most okay i feel that way also about cleansers i just need the balm and the gel to clean my skin well and i need the moisturizer to moisturize well that's it and if i want to add fun stuff to the routine 
great, I have my glycolic acid to do that with. I also have the different serum options that are available. And with that said, I'll introduce my last pick. And this one was fun because I haven't used oils in a very long time, but I decided to reintroduce oil into the routine. And this is the Bakuchio Oil Blend for oily skin. I love the size of this bottle. I think it makes it very travel friendly, perfect. For the fridge. I decided to go with the oily skin blend because this has a rosehip seed oil base as well as baobab oil and bakuchiol. Bakuchiol was like the new kid on the block for firming, elasticity, but I thought this was nice to reintroduce into my routine. At night, what I do is take three drops, warm them up in between my hands, so that is the texture of the oil. It's very lightweight, and what you can do is just press the oil onto your skin. If you find you like to use oil under your foundation, you can mix this oil with your foundation or apply it over your moisturizer first and then go in with your makeup. I like this as a last step in my evening routine just so that it can seal everything in and I wake up with nice, soft skin. And although an oil, it is very lightweight in texture, not greasy on the skin, absorbs quickly. And there is a slight scent because of the rosehip seed oil. It's a naturally occurring scent in that ingredient. So that is just a forewarning. If you don't like the smell of rosehip seed oil, there are different blends that you can choose from that is not particularly this one. And again, I'm very excited to use this more consistently, but I enjoyed the texture for the oily skin blend, I think because it's very lightweight, Again, despite it being oil and does not make me look very shiny, but just makes me look like I have a glow. And I very much welcome the properties of the ingredients formulated to create this oil. There's also one for dry skin as well as cold pressed rosehip seed oil, squalene oil. And if you don't wanna use Bakuchio, there are different oil blends that are offered by Good Molecules that will be a great pick if you choose to use an oil. And that is it fam. Those are my five picks from Good Molecules. I'm definitely picking up the hyaluronic acid Acid boosting essence because I would love to try their essence. I'm gonna get more of the cleansing balm because this stuff really just it's crucial. It's crucial. Let me know if you are currently using good molecules, what your favorites are, if you are participating in the Black Friday Festival event. And again, a huge thank you to Good Molecules for sponsoring this video. I will see you down in the comments, fam. And that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review, tutorial, skincare pick extravaganza, monthly favorite or vlog. Take care and I will see you again soon.